Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be cleaning a $40 exhaust manifold that I got off of DSM tuners. Voila! So this is the tubular exhaust manifold that I got for my car. The reasoning behind this is that the exhaust will flow better, which means my turbo will spool sooner. And this is kind of a needed upgrade if I decide to put in a bigger turbo eventually down the road. But I'm not going to be installing it today because this thing is covered inside and out with a whole bunch of carbony goodness. So today I'm going to be taking some WD-40 and a brass brush and trying to get as much of this stuff out as possible. And then, then I'll install it and I'll put that in a video. But this video, we're just cleaning it up. Obviously, I'm kind of worried that, you know, this was $40. So the welds could be bad. There could be a crack. There, you know, there could be something very wrong with this. It was $40, but I'm going to assume that it's just because it's quite used. But this is going to work with the stock T25 turbo. Um, it will also be compatible with the 16G Evo 3 that I'll be getting down the road sometime. So this was this was kind of a needed upgrade, but I'm gonna have to go get it checked out by a shop or something just to, just to make sure it's okay. Why did I get this over the stock unit? Well, let me show you. These are the casualties from when I replaced all my coolant hoses. If you guys have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. So this is the stock unit in my car. So this exhaust manifold is cast iron, meaning it'll hold in heat better, but it you know doesn't quite flow as well as a tubular exhaust manifold. If I put a heat shield over my other new exhaust manifold, then it will you know basically be a lot better. On another and slightly unrelated note, you guys may have noticed that I have a 2019 Mazda 3 hatchback. I was looking at the back today, and if you take a flathead screwdriver, you can take this off. And check that out. That is a spot for a tow hook. And I am absolutely putting one on. I had no idea that you could do that. So yeah, coming to a vlog near you. But um, yeah, this looks kind of nasty. It's got like a, I don't know if that crack goes all the way through, but I really hope not. But this is what I've got right now. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get cleaning. Just to let the record show, um, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I mean, you gotta do stuff to learn how to do them, right? And I, I watched a few videos and, and read some forums and stuff, but yeah, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Carbon soup. Definitely getting stuff off. Things are coming along slowly but surely. Um, this is where it's at right now. You can see these are starting to get cleared up just a little bit. This side, on the mounting side, this this is getting looks quite nice. Um, these are looking pretty nice. My fingers don't get as black when I touch them now. 
but I'm still not quite sure what to do about the inside. I'm not an expert, and I might have to just take this to a place where they know how to do this, but uh, I wanted to at least try. I wanted to at least try. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I grabbed a degreaser right there, like a grease cutter, and then I started putting it on basically where the gaskets are going to go, where it's going to mount up on stuff. Um, rubbed it all in, then scrubbed it down really, really hard with that brush. And it's way smoother. There's not as nearly as much debris on it. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good for a used exhaust. Personally, I don't know how clean it's supposed to look. I, I don't know, like, I don't know the standard, you know? I don't know, I don't know what a good sign is. I don't know what a bad sign is. Um, but if you want to speak about bad signs, there's something kind of nasty over here. If you go, if you look inside of there, there's like a bit of a gouge right in there. I don't know what that means. If it's bad, I'm probably going to take it to a shop and see if they can like test this somehow and see if it'll work out. Okay. But I want to see what this looks like side by side next to the stock exhaust. Oh yeah. This is going to be a big improvement in terms of both looks and performance. Assuming there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know what, I think I'll put that in the next video. We'll get it, we'll get it tested, we'll get someone to look at it, see if it works out okay. And, uh, if it works, you know what, we might be throwing it on in the next video. So, obviously, this video wasn't as long as my other videos. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. But if you guys saw my last video, I posted a song that I made. I really like music, um, almost more than I love cars. And so I'm thinking about making a second channel where I post music. I'm already working on another song. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, let me know if you think I should make another channel where I make music. Because to be honest, I think I might just do it anyway. Just because I like doing it. It gives me something to do. Also, I'm going to be going to college in about three months. So I'm probably going to either have to leave the Eclipse here. Or I might be able to take it with me. But it's not going to be directly accessible. I have a friend who has a house in Idaho. Um, about three hours away from where I'm going to be going to college. So it'll be with me in a way, but not with me. You know what I'm saying? A YouTube channel where I get to make music and post it will probably, I'll be able to post more content, you know, cause I'll be able to make music wherever I am rather than having to rely on mods for my Eclipse because when I do mods on my Mazda, I'm not going to be doing as much because I don't want to sacrifice its reliability. But not to say that I'm not going to be modifying it. I want to put some wheels on, mud flaps, that tow hook I showed you guys. Um, I want to put new wheels on, maybe some side skirts and a splitter. It's going to be mostly cosmetic stuff. But um, yeah, let me know if I should make another channel where I post music. Um, I'm probably going to do it anyways. And if I do, I will let you guys know exactly what that channel is. Um, but... Yeah, that's pretty much going to end today's video. I'm really excited to put this exhaust on. I, I can't wait to see how the performance changes. But um, yeah, just like that, guys, this video is over, and I'll see you in the next one.